Hey YouTube, Jake the Happy Snake here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my top 10 favorite Pokemon cards of all time. Uh, so I'll be starting off here with number 10, and then I'll be going all the way up to number 1, and I'll be explaining, uh, when I'm showing the card to you, I'll be explaining uh, why that card is in this list. So anyways, we'll start off here with number 10, which is... Chikorita from Call of Legends. Now, you're all probably wondering, why the heck does this guy have a freaking common card in his top 10 favorite Pokemon card list? Well, I'll tell you why. In case you don't know, in case you don't know me, Chikorita is my favorite Pokemon of all time. If you can see my background right here. And, well, I think this is actually a pretty decent um, card for the TCG. Uh, I mean, Reckless Charge, 30 damage. Chikorita does 10 damage to itself. And then Nap, Nap heals that 10 damage. So, I mean, it's not really that bad. I mean, if you just use Reckless Charge uh, and then Nap over and over again, just in that same order. Reckless Charge and then Nap and then Reckless Charge and then Nap again. Just keep doing that. Then you're good to go. And I mean, my deck, this this is actually the main card in my deck. Um, and um, in my deck, I actually uh, have um, nothing but potions and super potions. And uh, so it really, it's not really that bad of a card for me to have in my deck, right? Um, like I said, this is the, this is the main card in, in that deck, which I will be showing in a future video. Uh, I'll be showing and showing my decks, and I just made one like last week, because I never really got into the trading card game that much. Um, but um, yeah, so... I just thought, you know, this is a really cool card, and it's a really, it's, you know, it's pretty good for the TCG, and like I said, main card in my deck, so why not throw this card in the, in the list? Uh, now we'll go on to number 9, which is Shining Mewtwo. Now, this is from Neo something, Neo Destiny, I'm not quite sure, but this card's in decent condition. I, I mean, not the best condition, but I mean, it's okay, I guess. Um, my sister's friend gave me a binder full of Pokemon cards, like, six years ago, and this was one of them, and I almost cried. I had no idea how rare it was, um, which I should I'll probably explain how rare it is. It's number 109 out of 105, and it's got three stars in the bottom right-hand corner. You can't even see that, but if you search it up on Google, search this card up on Google, then you will be able to to uh, see that, and it's just insane, and I just thought this, I mean, yeah, it's just a really cool looking card, I'm not even sure if Primetime Pokemon even has this card, uh, I asked him a few years ago, a couple of times, and he said he didn't have it, now, like I said, that was probably four years ago now, four or five years ago, and he never, I say, you know, he said he never had it, now, he, now he might have, he might have it now, I'm not, I'm not really sure, but as far as I know, he doesn't have it, which is really uh, cool to know that I have a card that Primetime Pokemon doesn't have. I mean, he's like the best Pokemon card collector in the world. I'm not quite sure, so, so sure about that. But anyways, yeah, number nine. Then we got uh, Kangaskhan from Jungle. Now, this is my very first Pokemon card that I ever owned. It might have even been my brother's, but I remember having it uh, when I was like six or seven. And yeah, uh, just got a, got a cool holographic um, background to it, and Comet Punch is really good for four coins. This attack is 20 damage times the number of heads, which is insane. Um, I mean, that's, you know, that's not a bad, that's not, that's not a bad move. I actually have uh, Kangaskhan with that exact same move in my deck, which you will see once I show you guys my deck in a future video. Um, but yeah, basically one reason this card is in this, um, uh, is in this, this list is because this is my first, very first Pokemon card, and I just thought it was really cool looking. And it's kind of funny, uh, this is really irrelevant, but, um, Three hours before I was born, I got a, my very first stuffed animal, which was a kangaroo. And my very first Pokemon card is a kangaroo. Um, I know that's stupid, but I just thought I'd mention that. I just thought that was kind of cool. But anyways, there's number eight. Number seven would be Meganium Prime from the Heart Gold Soul Silver Tin. Uh, this, is, this is the promo version. And uh, I actually kind of like this card better than the non-promo version. Uh, I have to say, I just think like, the, the, you know, um, Meganium looks really cool looking. And uh, yeah, I just, I like using Meganium a lot in the... Um, in the games more than Chikorita. I used to use Chikorita all the time, but let's face it, using a Chikorita in, you know, you know, it, just in a, to battle, like, really strong Pokemon, like, you know, uh, Charizards and Gudras and stuff like that, it's, it's, it's pretty stupid. So I decided to start using Meganium, which is a way better choice, even though Meganium is still not really that good. But, um, yeah, I just thought this is a really cool looking card, and, you know, um, I like Meganium quite a bit. Probably my top... I don't know, probably top 10 favorite Pokemon, just because it's the evolution of my favorite Pokemon. Uh, number 6 would be Tepeg from the Black and White Preview Tin. Now, the only reason this card is in this list is because of the holographic pattern. I mean, that's pretty cool looking, right? Uh, it's a pretty cool looking card. Uh, 
pretty cool looking holographic pattern. I just thought, it was, you know, it was like yellow and red in the back, and it's just really cool looking. Now, I have like four other Tepig Hollows. Three of them are the same from the blister packs, and then the other one is, is um, from the McDonald's promo thing, but that's the exact same car as this, except the holographic pattern. Like, the background's completely different. The holographic pattern is completely different, uh, but Tepig looks the same, the HP's the same, you know, the move is the same, everything's the same, right? You know, attack, the weakness, everything's the same. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, Tevig was the starter that I chose in black and white. I just thought, you know what, this is a uh, really awesome looking card. So that's why I threw this card in this list. Number five would be Dialga EX from Plasma Blast. Now, I like Dialga quite a bit. Pokemon Diamond is a really awesome game. It's the game that I chose when I was a lot younger. I think it was my third Pokemon game that I ever owned. And I just found out recently that... Uh, Diamond is actually my birthstone, which I did not know when I bought the game. I only found that out like a month ago or something. And I was pretty lucky to pull this card out of a pack and not Palkia EX. So, um, yeah, I just think this is a really cool looking card, too. So, yep, number five. Number four would be Reshiram Full Art from Black and White. Now, this is the one of the first full arts ever made. Uh, Zekrom being the other. Uh, this card is really, really uh, cool looking. I like Reshiram quite a bit. Pokemon Black, actually, I have a lot of play time into it. I have, like, 220 hours or something. And, um, I mean, yeah, I just I just think uh, this is a, just a really cool-looking card, just the way the shine looks. You can't really see it too well on camera, but, um, you know, I got pretty lucky when I pulled this thing. I kind of like the Dialga EX. Uh, I could have easily pulled Zekrom Full Art, but no, I was able to get Reshiram, which is great, because I like Reshiram way more. Um, you can actually find when I pulled this thing out of a pack, it was on a Ted Pig blister pack I opened a couple years ago. But, um, yeah, there's one last shot of it right there. Moving on to number three. We were Quasa Hollow from Dragon Vault. Now this again, the holographic pattern is really cool looking, but Rayquaza is also pretty cool looking. And Pokemon Emerald is actually my favorite Pokemon game um, that I have ever owned. Um, I got it for Christmas a couple years ago from somebody, and um, no, not a couple years ago, actually, 2009, so not a couple years ago. And then that same person actually a couple years later stole that game, uh, stole the game, which sucked because I love playing Emerald. Uh, and then I so I bought it, I bought another copy of it just because I love the game so much. And then the same guy gave the, the game he stole, he gave it back to me. So then I had two copies. Um, so now I got two copies of the game, uh, of the game, which is fine. I mean, I don't know. I guess I'll keep them, I guess. Uh, but um, I actually, yeah, love the game. I played Pokemon Emerald uh, the, the, this past Christmas. I played it. Um, I tried to beat it in one setting, and I was able to do that from start to finish. I played it for three and a half hours. I beat it. No problem. I don't even think I left my bedroom. And I have like a level 79 Swamp right afterwards, and it was awesome. And I just, well, cause I just wanted to say that I, um, that I beat a Pokemon game without, you know, you know, without turning the game off. Um, and I played that on a, uh, on an emulator, by the way. I didn't want to think that I was playing, like, playing on my Game Boy Advance for like three hours, which I have actually done before. But we're getting off topic. That's number three. Number two would be Crawdon EX from Hall EX Holland Phantoms. Uh, it was an old school EX. Um, I just like the, like the looks of this car is really cool. The water that Crawdon is shooting out of his claw is really cool looking. And um, it's just, it's it's an awesome card. It's, yeah, it's it's uh, just, just the way it looks. I, I'm pretty sure it was the first ever ultra rare uh, Pokemon card that I actually uh, have ever pulled out of a pack. Now, it's not my first Ultra Rare card that I've ever owned, but it's the first Ultra Rare that I pulled out of a pack. And I just thought it's so cool looking. It's just a really, really sick looking card. And um, Crawdon is an awesome Pokemon. I actually had one in Pokemon Emerald when I played it, but I played it all the time. And I use it as a contest Pokemon. And um, I transferred down to Heart Gold and Diamond. And I got like, I don't know, between Emerald, Diamond, and Heart Gold, I had like, uh, I don't know, like 30 ribbons or something. Maybe not 30, but 20 ribbons at least. Um, I don't know why. I don't know, it's a weird Pokemon to choose as a contest Pokemon, but. Anyways, that's number nine. Then number one, and yeah, you're all probably going to be really disappointed about this, and I'm sorry, but this truly is my favorite Pokemon card of all time. Number one would be. Chikorita from one of the E sets. I'm not quite sure which one, but you're all wondering why the heck is this? What's this guy's problem? He Chikorita is it's a terrible Pokemon. Okay, it might be, but I don't like Chikorita in terms of battle. I just like Chikorita just because it's you know I don't know. It's just Pokemon that I've always liked. I always thought it was really cool looking. It was the first time I really played Silver after owning it, owning it for three years, and um, I just think this is a. Uh, 
it's just, yeah, it's just, this card, I mean, E-cards are really rare to come by nowadays, anyways. Yeah, I, I only own one other E-series card, and I think that was a Sparrow that I eventually gave away to my friend. Um, but my other friend's like, you know, you you know, do you want the Chikorita card? I was like, I'm not going to say no to that, I love Chikorita. So then I put it in a sleeve, in a top loader, and then I resealed it, and I put some plastic wrap over it, which probably should, I should probably um, uh, put new plastic wrap over it, because this this plastic wrap is like two years old, because uh, I lost the card, and then I found it recently. But it's like teared right there. You can't even see that, but it's like teared right, right there, and then it's like teared over here as well, uh, and then uh, yeah, there as well. I mean, it's it, I should probably reseal it, but um, yeah, this is, this card means means a lot to me, and it's just a really it's one of my favorite. Uh, like I said before, Chikorita, my favorite Pokemon, and uh, I just really like the card. It's, well, it's it will always be my favorite. So. Yeah, there you have it. So thank you guys so much for watching my top 10 favorite Pokemon card list. Um, I've got some plans for future videos. Uh, I Well, like I said, I would like to show you um, this is my deck right here um, that, that, that this card is based around. And um, I'm going to show this probably in the next video. Um, then I got a... Uh, uh, I got like a, a container right here full of uh, figurines that I would like to show at some point as well. So, um, yeah, uh, this is my figurine collection. There's like 30 in there or something. Uh, so I'd like to show that. And one other thing, I've been meaning to do this for like two years now. Um, I got all these codes. I'm not even joking. These are unused codes that I got from like the, the Legendary Treasures booster box I opened a while ago. And just random booster packs. Look at that. There's like 120 codes here or something. I did have like 150, but I gave those away to a certain fan on my Facebook page. And yeah, so I don't know what I'm doing yet. Uh, I hope people aren't going to be like, you know, oh man, when are you going to give away those codes? Because I really don't know how I'm going to give them away. It's going to probably be a contest at some point. Uh, I'm not sure when I'll do it. But I hope to do it at some point. I've been meaning to do this. This was originally supposed to happen for my three year anniversary. But it never happened. So um, hopefully it will happen soon. I'm hoping to do it sometime in the near future. Um, so yeah, there you have it. Um, I'll be doing that at some point too. So yeah, th there are some future videos happening uh, at some point in the near future. So thanks guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please, uh, please, uh, you know, check out my Facebook page. There will be a link in the description below. That's where most of the um, Jake the Happy Snake action is, uh, is taking place nowadays. Is on that Facebook page. I post there more than I do on my YouTube channel nowadays. So please check that out. There'll be a link to that in the description below. Thanks guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And stay tuned for more videos. Peace.